been a while. It's been a while. Oh, let me, <laughs> let me clean my, <laughs> my lens. Oh, better. Look at this. I'm in a coffee factory. Is like grade one and then PB Emma. Ah, What's the difference? <laughs> difference in the coffee grading system. Oh. So what happens in Kenya? Every coffee producing country they have their own coffee grading system. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So in like ours, it's okay. Kenya in in Kenya we get coffee according to the size for the bean. Ah. Uh. This is the green beans, eh? Uh huh. Size, density, and the shape. What it looks like. Oh. Yes. So from just those three categories, we have about several more than six grades, right. and they all taste different. And they can one coffee tree can produce all those grades of coffee, but they all taste different. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, they just look like beans, uki pasua beans katikati. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. You because in a cherries in a conga. A coffee tree, I think we a coffee cherry growing. Yeah. Uh, so in a, inside the coffee there is a conga two beans fused together like this. Ah. Uh, yes. So after pulping, after we remove that process, uh, so we put the two beans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Then this one we call it a pea bed. The word French peas, like pea. Because oh. Because it's like a roundish shape. Oh. oh. Mm. Okay. I had to touch it. <laughs> 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 no, this is what I was talking about, the different grades ah. from different processing. Yeah. So like this one, this, this one you can grade E, e for uh, elephant, because it's big in size. Oh, okay. Like what's the difference between these two? Oh. This is also, this dark roast coffee, yeah. this medium roast coffee. Oh. Yeah. So dark roast coffee, uh, mostly not going to lose flavor to this espresso. Oh, it's so, more bitter-ish. Yes, bitter-ish, yes. Oh, for me, these are Kenyan teas. Do you know green tea? Yeah, yeah. And this is a black tea. So, it, actually, each and every one of them have different health benefits. Yes, wow. Like most people like purple tea because of the burning properties. Oh. So people wanting to so the, weight. Does the tea come purplish color? Yes, it comes purplish color. Now, and when you, this one, you only uh, enjoy it with maybe lemon. You don't put sugar or anything else. Oh. Yes. So the moment you get something citrus like lemon, the more purple color is enhanced. Oh. The roasting temperature inside is in at about up to 120. Oh, so wow. the air temperature there inside this drum. Okay. Mimoto, Kishka Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Yes. And the, the time the coffee in a take inside. So, oh, so yeah. So you make one? Three minutes. Oh. Yes. And so it should take the coffee in a bongana rules. Uh. You're supposed to roast coffee between 8 to 12 minutes. Uh. projects you are working on. They are trying different processing methods to produce coffee instead of adding flavors. Now, using a micro lot means the coffee, yeah. which is not for commercial. I don't know, it feels like so why did you make car for a while? Mm. Nice. Because this actually the name is fermented coffee. Oh, oh I'm it's good. Nice to go. <laughs> Anaerobic process. Anaerobic means in a ferment in closed canisters. Uh -huh. Yes. Come, is that like wine when you add too much wine? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That is very true. You are correct. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, we get the letter to the new day. That is, we can find a post that. It is a passport holder. You put your passport inside. Yeah. And it's really like leather, leather, genuine. Yes, I'll show you the whole leather. Look at that. Looks good. Sente. Yes, we say. Oh, leather. Mm. Yeah. So, from this, yeah. several stages, something very nice. Costa. We are geniuses. Mr. Matu. Yep. He, we are going to make a logo. After half a year, we are going to make a logo. After a logo. Ina hapo rangi pale, lakini hapo hapo ina rudi hapa, hapo hapa machini, hapo machini. What happens in the machine? Na nini? Machini. Kuna ndoa kusona na sahi kikatwa, iko ibo. Square. Square. Lakini, kwa machini pale, kuna ndoa kuweka hiyo shape. Edges. Na kwa kama rounded edges. Kuna ndoa kuitoa hiyo ili iwe size moja. So ni siwe kubwa, dogo ni mnyo. Lakini baada ya hapo. Inarudi hapa tunafanya finishing tunafanya kila kitu alafu sasa hii ikiwa hivi yeah. iko ready ya iko ready kwenda kwa market and product kwa tunapanga pa set oh set moja na bei yake set moja hizi ziko ngapi ndani set moja ni sawa six pieces hivi ikiwa hivi hizi ni mbili zimeshikanishwa yes 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 go return you tegemea hii ni ngozi ya ngombe ama kama Ini gosip yang busi. Look at how this place looks like. Look at the lights. They they have this vintage vibe. So now we're going to test something. Yes. yes. It's even better because the weather outside is very cold. It has a very strong scent. It smells good. I'm going to try it before I add sugar in it so we can see like, the natural test of it. So there is no sugar, no preservatives, no nothing. It's just pure natural coffee that has been sun dried and then it has been roasted and now we have just brewed it. And this is how it looks like. And this is what it has been made to. Should I try it? Mm. Wow. Um, it's bitter to test, but it has that aftertaste that is aromatic, I would say. I don't know if that's a test. I am not a specialty in this, but I really can't explain it. It has kind of a fruity flavor. I don't know if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm going to ask Martin. All I can say is my test buds are really going wild in my tongue because I, I can feel it in the back of my tongue at the middle section back of my tongue. 
Oh, this is uh. Benches. It's not that fruit. It's not that fruit. It's not that fruit. It's not that fruit. Oh, because I, I feel like a, a fruity oh, flavor. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah, thanks. Oh, you guys, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Someone needs to clap for me one day. So here's the flavor chart. So like with this one, we need to we started fruity and then like with yes, yes, yes. I feel like it's more berry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raspberry. Yeah, raspberry. Mm -hmm. Who's going to serve me that and then I'm going to test? So far, you guys have seen like I'm quite good in the judgment section. So, yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. I cannot wait to start feeding my girl. Some streets as Sharon Mindia, Jay Candy, Jay Take a Peek, all those gorgeous and amazing YouTubers. The same streets. So yeah, I am in Nairobi. I arrived in Nairobi yesterday um, at 3:33. Yeah, at at 3:30 a.m. Oof, the ride was brutal. Um, I took the 10 p.m. SGR and I don't think if I would advise to book it because it's one of the uncomfortable rides I've ever been into. Probably it's because I, I do not, I'm not a fan of traveling at night. I love my, my bedtime to be comfortable and yo, it was just one of those days like you cannot sleep and you, like, you, you, the sitting position is uncomfortable and all and yeah. 
too bad. The returning trip that I've taken is for the 10 p.m. again. I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. So yesterday, yesterday was amazing. So I took my sister to the Matatu because she was going back to school. And then after that, I went to Babadogo, meet up with Martin the barista. He's a genuine good person. Mm -hmm. So he took me around to learn about coffee. And that's what this video is about. Afterwards in the evening, um, I did catch up with my friend, had some bunches of laughter. It, it was amazing. Loved it. Slept late. I woke up like an hour ago, but I've been just being on bed because it's raining and it's cold. Nairobi weather, you know. I wanted to go to Gikomba, but I'm just not feeling it. But I feel like I should go and just check if there's something nice I can get. But I'm lazy. I'm leaving today for Mombasa. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of crazy.